What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to the second episode of The Adventures of Bearded Kitty. So as you guys can probably see behind me, I'm not at my dad's right now. I'm actually at my mom's. She's gone away for the weekend to a uh, sort of high school reunion, and uh, she's never left her cats alone before, and they're still pretty young, so she wanted me to cat sit for her. I had a scare this morning. I haven't even told her yet, but and I, I don't really want to because it was so dumb. I, I, okay, I got here the night before, right? I, I unpacked, I got settled in, I went to bed, but uh, even though it was such a beautiful night and it was cool outside, this house likes to hold its heat, I guess. It holds its cool during the summer and it holds its heat during the winter. I just noticed that while, while I was sleeping, it was just a bit too hot and I wanted to open a window. Um, and where I'm sleeping, there's two windows. And, uh, so I got up at 3 a.m. I opened the first window that was closest to me and, uh, there was a screen on it. That's fine. But the second one, I didn't realize in the pitch black that there was not a screen on it, but I only opened it about like that much because I only wanted a, a, like airflow. That's all I wanted. I just wanted airflow. Uh, but I, I didn't want it open all the way so that, I don't know, like a bird could fly in, right? But I wasn't, I wasn't planning on the screen not being there is what I'm trying to get at. So I didn't realize this. I went back to bed. My alarm went off at 7. I finally got up at 8. I realized the house was very quiet. And the cats already, they, they, they seem shy already because, uh, you know, their, their mom's not home. But, like, you can really tell they're being affected because she's been gone so long because she's never really left them more than I think a day and a half. I thought I heard one of them get sick so I went around the house looking for something to clean up right. Um, I didn't find anything but then I noticed I only saw Daisy. I thought where's Maya? I go back into the bedroom I realize that the window uh, the windows are still open and then I, I just, I stood there staring at the window that did not have a screen in it. And I thought, oh my fuck. <laughs> I thought, did, did she just jump out and, because uh, there's a slight bit of a drop from the window, but I thought, did she fall out, jump out, and she couldn't get back in and she just is gone, she's missing? And I, I started to freak out I was, and I, I was not intending on waking up and just immediately going into a heart attack, right? <laughs> so then I'm running around the house, calling Maya, shaking food, and I thought, oh, what the hell am I going to do? What am, how am I going to tell her that I lost her fucking cat? And then I call my dad and I tell him what happened, and he said she would never leave the house like that. They're indoor cats anyways, um, and they, they, they're they actually a little bit uh, skittish of the outside. Like, they, they they're allowed to... Uh, go out onto the balcony and into the garage and stuff like that and uh, look out an open window but um, they have to be supervised right and so my dad told me to keep looking on the inside because Maya is known for hiding um, but like she she goes into a very tight space and sleeps there kind of thing or she'll go under a desk or a chair or on, like even on a chair that's under a table kind of thing and I, I was looking everywhere, and then finally I find her under the chair. I was so relieved. I thought, like, I've never really babysitted an animal before. I I love animals. I can get along with almost any animal, so long as they're not already upset. I, I just thought, like, I, I, I fucked up. <laughs> I really fucked up. And then she was just there, and I was, you know, like, I realized just how much that woke me up in the end, but I still, I like, I went, I didn't know, I was just, I didn't know how to react. I was just, I had to sit down for 15 minutes and just think about what just happened. <laughs> While I'm here, if you can't tell by the hat, I uh, also have to mow the lawn. And I got most of it done on the first go, but there was rain in the forecast.
Another thing that I did is in, in town, there's a uh, scallop festival and uh, they have some vendors come, they have special events, they, uh, there's entertainment, there's games. A lot of tourists come down to it. It's, it's fairly, uh, it's a decent sized event, especially for the town. But um, the bigger one is the Warfront Rally, which I will be going to uh, this early, beginning September, I believe it is. So uh, we went to the festival. There was a parade. I filmed a bit of the parade. I won't show the whole thing, but I will show uh, a few uh, cool shots and a, um, a little funny moment that happened. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Adventures of Bearded Kitty, and as always, bye for meow. Say bye Maya. Say bye. Bye. Say bye Maya. Say bye. Big stretchies. What are you doing? <laughs> You're a strange cat. You want to say bye to Daisy? She's the more calm one, so she probably won't have much of a reaction. She's pretty chill. Pretty shy, though. Thank you. Yeah, she's pretty chill. God, I hate this freaking cat.